something you can do. Uh, it's something that develops or goes on naturally when the energy level increases. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm finally beginning to understand. So the therapy is to help the person know first how to increase his energy by deeper breathing. Mm -hmm. See? how to increase his energy, yes. and how to allow that energy to flow through the body mm -hmm. so that the expression of feeling is natural. So... Now, that means that um, I can't breathe for the, ther for the patient. I can't do express feelings for him. He's got to do that himself. Yes. And he can't do it himself. Uh, so the, uh, there must Wait. be... So he, because he is too frightened mm -hmm. and doesn't know how, and is out of con contact with his body. He doesn't know how to use his voice. He doesn't know how to use his legs, you know? Uh, because it's been, the tension from the past cuts off the feeling in the body. Mm -hmm. So you have to increase the feeling in the body. I mean, you, I can't do that, but help him increase it. And then allow that feeling, show him what it means or explain, and allow that feeling to be expressed. Now, the, in the past, you see, what I, when I say yes. failure, there was too much ego involvement in, on the part of the therapist, as the therapist is trying to make the patient better. So you see that the evolution that you see in yourself in the energetic sure, field sure. is to make less intervention yeah. and more to be present. Well, it's not so simple as that, because you get then to the point where you do nothing and nothing happens. That's true. No, it is that you can make an intervention, yeah. see? but then you've got to step back and allow the process to go on more spontaneously. Yes, yeah, so to step back a little bit and to allow the more yeah. space yeah. To, the, uh, to the patient. The key is you do have to be present because he is moving into strange territory, mm -hmm. feelings that he never experienced since he was a child. Also the patient has to trust you as very confident in yeah. a sense because that will allow in right. more trust, sure, because sure. if you he sense that you know where where he is and what's happening, he will trust you. Yeah, that's the most important thing in the therapy: understanding the struggle of the patient, his fear, his um, what happened to him as a child, yes. his fear of the past, his fear of his feelings. So that's uh, also the use of empathy in a sense. Well, it's, it, it's not just empathy, like saying, I know you suffer. Because no, the real understanding. No, no, the real understanding. It, the only understanding that's real is that you too have gone through this process. fear and you have been able mm -hmm. to come out. That's the only way. Otherwise, empathy is just a word, like saying, oh, I feel sorry for you. I know you yeah, are terrible. I, I well, know what you mean nothing. about it. <laughs> <laughs> but if you, re if, if you know what it is to to go through what he has to go through, and you've done it yourself, then you can take him through. Yeah, I'm sure about that, because <laughs> I, I'm experiencing for you, sure, sure. your understanding, sure, when I came sure. to work sure, with you. Sure. And I was impressed by just the first part, also when we work verbally, yeah. how much intuition you yeah, can sure, you tell so about my history, yeah. my, so that was a bridge for that's me. That's the bridge. To, yeah. to risk more on a yeah, body level. That's right. That's because right. I was feeling understood, sure, that's sure. all. Sure, sure. So uh, when you ask a patient to give in to their despair, yes. you, because nothing will happen that's bad, even though he's frightened or she's frightened, it's because you have given in to your despair and you found out, okay, 
So, so it's not so terrible it, to go. It was the despair that I experienced as a child. I'm not a child now, so you go to little. It's yeah. tricky because, um, you know, to say to be present, you have to define what it means to be present. It means to be present as a person who has fully lived and gone through his own problems. Yeah, that's for sure. That's for sure. And, uh, and, and I think that uh, I was very impressed by the speech that you, yeah. you gave it because it was very courageous yeah. to name about uh, uh, after 40 years to want yeah, to sure. count about sure. the failure, but also yeah. there was a big sense of evolution because yeah. when you are able to see and it wanted to change. Yeah. That means that you don't look in failure, but you look in to overcome. It's no, you don't overcome. You, see, you only fail because you don't ex understand and accept. Yes. That's why you fail. Because once you can understand and accept, then life is open. It's not failure, not a success. Really. <laughs> see, failure and success are words that apply to the ego. Yes, that's Not true. to the body. The body doesn't know about failure. The body only knows about pleasure or pain. That's all. So failure means nothing to the body. In mm -hmm. fact, for the body, if a man is working very hard to succeed, and the body is in stress, the body's glad when he fails because then he stops struggling. <laughs> no, I think it was it's very, simple. Yeah, it was very yeah. interesting for See, those points. I'll give you a better example. I come yeah. here. And I know how many problems there are in bioenergetic analysis. Yes, that was another question that I wanted to ask you. And I cannot change them. They're at, it's out of my control. I have to take care about Lowen, mm -hmm. to be uh, relaxed, to give off some good feelings, and that's all I can do. I cannot make the Institute run correctly. It's all wobbly. Yeah, <laughs> so you anticipated one of the questions that I wanted to ask you, <laughs> that it was after you see, uh, after you've been yeah. in this conference, sure. so, yeah. so you see all the problems about the society well, and all oh, that. Oh, sure, and you see it again in the Institute, too. It's, yeah, because there is always conflict about the, the goodwill and the... Well, it's that, it's that there's a power issue yeah, the power in issues. everything in our lives. Mm -hmm. So, uh, and that distorts the, the, the natural function of life, you know? Yes. Uh, which is simply to be, to be focused on yourself and to, well, as uh, Dr. Lucky said, simply know thyself yes. and be true to thyself. That's all it's about. But I think it's uh, very, very important that you still keep reminder us yeah, I to know. go back to this place Basically. where there is more heart, more yeah. pleasure, and more, and more. To sense. the body, that means. Yes. If you think just the body, to breathe. Ah, <sighs> <Me> too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <there. laughs> and that's more important than to make money. Yeah, I think so. Too. <laughs> well, of course. Uh, it's, uh, he asked if you think that the failure so it can can be a beginning. If you look at failure, then start the beginning of life. Of life. Yeah, yeah. Not the beginning of another effort to succeed. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> See, but the beginning of life. <laughs> uh, also, there's something that he wanted to ask is about the. Uh, if you can say something more about the fear of life. Oh, see. It, it's always at the base of all the problems is the fear of death and the fear of insanity in all people. More, less, but it's always there because of this culture. Now the fear of death is from childhood, fear of insanity. See? So the feeling is, if I am not a good child, then they will reject me and I will die, somewhere like that. Yeah. So you cannot allow yourself to live free, because that risks yes, the death. So in a sense, the fear of death becomes the fear of life. And then the fear of life becomes again the fear of death, and it's in a circle, that's right. One fear. One fear is the fear to feel, to feel alive. Death is not a feeling. But in a sense, any time that you go too much for travel, you go for a dead direction. Well, of course you know and why, because you stop the life. Yeah, that's because when, yeah. while you were 
uh, talking about uh, the, the state of the society, the struggle yes, yes, for power yes. in there. Yes. And uh, I was realized that you have a very young way to look of things. That is usually people when are much more young. And that was a, a sure. That when children look at life that way. Yeah, and people when they are not so much in power, struggle, they have yeah. a much more life and optimism. Yes, absolutely. And, and there is less ego and power absolutely. involvement. Absolutely. And Absolutely. so it's very beautiful that you keep reminded this sure. sense of hope for the people that, like me, I have the fear to be gamble. <laughs> to be the <laughs> Yes, and to lose the sense of, oh, yes. of pleasure. That's right. Exactly. And so it's sure. always very precious sure. when Absolutely. people like you. You wanted to talk a little bit more, a little bit about your last book that it will be published in Germany and then in Italy. It's now, year. you know, uh, Astrolabia will bring yeah. it out, and I, they are now translating it. Yes. And uh, it deals with these issues. It, it's a book about these, this theme, joy. Joy is what children know, because they are innocent because and they are free. Then if you're innocent and free, you know joy. And we are guilty and we are bound by our compulsions and our struggles, so we cannot know any joy. Even if you make a... 10 million lira, you do not know joy. You feel satisfaction, but no joy. So, uh, and it deals with these basic issues of the fear of life and the fear of death, and the fear of breathing. Something that you were talking in Rome about the needs to let go to your body. Well, surrender, to surrender, surrender, to surrender, to life. surrender, of course. Oh. The surrender to life is best expressed in the words, I cannot. And the moment you say that and feel that, you are free. Otherwise, you keep struggling. Try again, try again, again, try again. again. You said in the, into the speech that our society is mostly mm, not, in the, not in the speech, but also not in the room. speech, but, but oh, you said also did. in the speech about oh, the American society. Yeah. But about all society. How you think, how you think uh, the society can change? I don't know, and I think I think I think maybe before it would change, it would be catastrophe. Because you see, power is not just in the ego; it's also in machines. And every time you drive an automobile, you have power. Mm -hmm. And you cannot be in your body fully because you have, you're controlling always power. When you walk, you're free. But when you drive a car, you are not free. Okay. So it's very complicated. Very complicated because because in terms the more of technology. The, the more technology there is, the more trouble there is for people. The more unhappiness. Because there is le also less contact among of people. Of course, because everything is wrong. So in Greece, when you go into the villages the, or into the islands, the small islands, the people are quiet. Yeah, and they live there, and one generation, another generation, the same village, another one, you know? Yeah. And they have the sea, which is always changing and alive. The trouble is they all want television. So they're going to become the more. That's right. Yeah. I don't, I, you understand, it's not to blame, it's only to understand. Yeah, because it's a dilemma, because people that don't have the con technology, they are more poor and sometimes suffer more. And no, they don't right? suffer more. I don't believe that. But the nature of the human being, the nature of life is to want excitement. Mm -hmm. Excitement is life. So when they see uh, television, they get excited. They say, oh, I'd like to have that. But it becomes a drug. I and now you're in trouble. I in the sense that you change your way also to to construct theory since the first your your first book yes. since you yes. were talking yes. in Rome. Well, there was an evolution. Sure. I got you. Forty years. It is not that the first book was wrong, and nor the second book. It's that I, you learn deeper and deeper as you get more experience. See that it's not enough to know the answers to do therapy. See? It's who you are and how you relate and yes. what you believe. Your value. In other words, if, I, if a therapist doesn't breathe and he knows all the answers, the patient will never change. 
in a sense you become more simple oh, in yeah. your concept. Yeah. So he said that it's important because we have to bring back to that kind of simplicity. Oh. Not to be so complicated sure. and also but sure. but go back to basic. Sure, sure. And sure. But integrating more that with yeah. the sure. very sim simple things in a sense. Yeah. Like value. Sure. You say that your internal value. Sure. What you believe sure. it. Yeah. Or what you feel. It's always the feeling. And what you do, your body. Well, the, you the body, see, point. but the body, you only know through feeling. Mm -hmm. So if you don't feel, you don't know anything about the body. You have it sit only an image. Mm -hmm. So you have to feel the breathing, and you have to feel the flow of the feeling in the body, the excitation. It pulses like this, you know, like that, rhythm. Mm -hmm. And you feel that. And when you dance, you feel it stronger, because that's sure. also a rhythmic pulsation. You know, music and the dance, and that's the pleasure. The, the pleasure of life, dancing, is an expression of how life, when it gets excited, can be pleasurable. becomes more pleasurable, more pleasurable. And sex is a dance between two people, just like they dance. And children love to dance. You see them jump and dance, and that's life. No, I didn't understand the question because he said, express your feeling can go against sometimes, sometimes against morality. No. I don't believe no, that's no, I why don't believe I, believe it. I don't believe it. That's why, because Impossible. your feelings are, if you are true, they're yeah, always true. They're always true, it. that's right. It, it, if you act out the feeling... Dice, se li agisci, i tuoi sentimenti. That could be immoral. If you see a beautiful lady and you're sexually excited, and you say to her, you're a beautiful lady, and I'm very excited. That is not immoral. No. See? You express. Yeah. But now if you grab her, want to rape her, that's immoral. Yeah. The limit is not out there, it's in you. You, you see, and that's why people have no limits yeah. in them. They, you cannot make limits outside for them. They kill, and you make laws, but they still kill. But for us, who have... See, the limit is so the it's sense... So it's limited the sense of integration that yeah. you have yeah. inside yourself. Yeah. Yeah. You feel that something is right because you feel it, maybe it's, it's always right. right. Yes, right. maybe it's not so appealing for the other, it's yeah. not a good it, thing, but you feel that course, by energetics is a way to integrate it more sure. Your, sure. yourself. Sure. Uh, because what I said, it's always, it's for me, it's always a pleasure. That's why I want to devote uh, this idea to video more sure. and more what you say, because it's very important that it yeah. is, it's like always if you remind people, also the people in the community of energetic, to go back to the basic, sure. what really attract people on the beginning. Yes, right? that's right. <laughs> because then sometimes people lost. I think that's happening to me. It's easy when to lost, but it's, it's important to go back to the first attraction, yeah, sure, because sure. every of us. That's right. So that's that right. is our common yeah. base. That's right. Very good. But I would like to ask you if you would send me a copy. Of course. Because this is such a nice yes. interview that I will show it to other people too. Yeah, it's been <laughs> Then I would not have to say it again and again. <laughs> it was a very nice interview. Yeah, very, very nice. Sure. <laughs>